Hey guys, what's up? So, heading to the uh, junkyard, pick a part. And, uh, so yesterday I got a really good deal uh, on eBay for a uh, Edelbrock RPM2 uh, intake manifold for a 351 Windsor. That's actually what I have in my Bronco. So, um, I've actually been wanting to do a multi port, multi port uh, fuel injection conversion for a while. Right now I'm running a Holy Terminator. Um, but today I'm actually going to go look at some 5 liters, some, uh, the, the computer. And I can't figure out, um, like, if I'm going to keep my... Because the Holy Terminator is actually a Holy HP ECU. So there's two different routes I could go with this, you know, multi-port multi MPFI conversion. Um, I could go with, like, a, a stock mass setup. You have know, a 5 So I can play shaky freeway here. Five freeway custom mesa. Um, so I can either go with the stock MAF setup, like a 5 0, and maybe like get it custom programmed, um, which probably would cost me, you know, maybe total like $500 invested if I could find a decent one in the junkyard. Or I could simply just buy a $400 wiring harness, $450 buck wiring harness for a Ford to have an interface interface with my uh, Holy HP ECU. Um, so I, I still haven't figured that out. If I'm going to go with that, but I mean, but I guess drivability. I guess for day to day, you know, drivability. I'm thinking the math might be better. You know, if I don't want to have to worry about programming. But the problem with the the math setup, which I've seen, is to program those things is a total bitch. You have to either use like quarter horse or like uh, moats uh, or the tweaker. But uh, so I yeah, I don't know if I want to go through all that. I mean, I already have all the nice tunability of uh, the Holly. Um, but like I said the only thing with the Holly is it seems like it's it doesn't run as good as a factory computer, you know. It has a it, it, I don't know. There, there's definitely there's there's issues with every kind of field injection system I've seen or played with. You know, Mega Squirt, Holly. Um, so maybe a factory setup might be good if I'm just it's like a daily driver, you know, good part of throttle. But uh, really, actually, the main, main reason why I went to the, I'm going to pick apart today is uh, the one in Anaheim actually has a 1995 liter uh, Lincoln Town car. And the reason why I want to look at that car is because it's one of the few Ford Lincoln slash uh, 5 O's that the, the, the intake manifolds mounted to reverse. Like the, the throttle body on the Mustangs is on the passenger side. Whereas the one on the, the Lincoln, the 1990, ones I've seen so far, the Lincoln 90, 1990 Lincoln Town Car, the throttle body is facing the uh, driver's side. And uh, for me, that's going to be better for my Bronco because I have more room on that side. So I can I can put the uh, air fill, air cleaner on the uh, in the fender well towards the front. You know, whereas the other side I have a battery sitting right there. I mean, there's no, I mean, if you're going to do a cold air intake, it has to be pushing and pulling cold air, you know. Because you just have a filter in your engine compartment, it's, you're sucking in hot air, and it does the opposite effect. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to the pick apart. I'm gonna hopefully find this. Hopefully, it's not the end is not pulled because I know five O's are kind of getting rare at these pick these pick aparts because, because I've been looking. And uh, you know, hopefully, I can find something. I, I really actually I want to look at the, the, the mounting brackets for that the, the Lincoln. You know how it mounts because it's reverse. I want to see how. It, because I have an AOD, my my, 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 my my Bronco, and the Lincoln Town Car had an AOD, you know, non-electronic. And so I wanted the actual, like the, the TV pressure cable. I wanted to see how that was all mounted, so maybe I could just take the cables off and, you know, adapt them to my Bronco. But, all right, we'll see. I'll, I'll get there and uh, we'll see what we can get. But I'm sure I'm rambling right now. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you. I'm going to get the pick part. Right. Yeah, these are the Mustang 5.0. Yeah, these things are always taken away right away. <clears throat> Interesting though. That's what's that? Uh, the bracket's actually what I need, but that doesn't look like an A. Well, I'll take a look at that later. I can't find what I'm looking for. What's up, dudes? Score. Check this out. Five O. And math sensor. 
Wow. I think I thought usually these were speed density. So Alright, let's take a look at this real quick. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jeez, what a score. And it's on the right side. You know, the mounting on the driver's side coming out that way. Okay. Hey. Okay guys, first score of the day here. That is the throttle cable. Yeah, I don't know if I even need this or not, but I wanted the bracket. But I'm also, uh, this is AOD kickdown, so I'm tired. Tearing into this fucking thing. Okay, so that's a kickdown cable. That's nice and short, and that's exactly what I wanted, because that's going to go to the throttle body. Yeah, because I really hate that low car cable, man. It's kind of a nightmare. It's not consistent. All right, cool, cool. First phase. I'm going to get off. Let's so find that map. Math computer. I can't even tell it. Why? I'm, I'm gonna work on the computer and see what model number it is right now. All right. Okay, guys. There it is. Um, what are other? It's a wire harness, ECU, air cleaner with a math sensor, uh, throttle cable. I'm not gonna bother with the O2 sensors. So let's get new ones. I got pretty much every other every other sensor. I think air temperature, coolant. I already have a distributor, so that's no big deal. Got the, took the fuel injectors too. I couldn't tell they're Denso brand fuel injectors. I don't know if they're aftermarket. They're all black. But all right, cool. So uh, check out. I'll give you a. Once I'll go back to my house, get cleaned up. Freaking mess right now. I'm tired too. So get it all laid out so you can see what I got. All right, hey guys. Let me do a quick recap on what I did here. Um, so I have it all laid out back at my house now. So that looks like a pretty tiny throttle body, but I do have a new one coming in. Professional products, 65 millimeter. I don't want to go bigger than 65 millimeter just because, um, yeah, my goal is to make power down low, and uh, so I don't need all the extra size because I don't, I don't want to. It's kind of like with a, I think it's like a carburetor effect. You know, the smaller will actually have more velocity. Um, so let me show you. That's the EGR spacer. I probably didn't really need that, but from what I, I I've learned over the years, going to pick up parts. Anytime I don't grab something, I always have to go back and get it anyways, later, so now I just buy everything and probably lose more money doing that, but at least I don't have to worry about it. So there's the air cleaner with, with the uh, mass airflow sensor, mass, mass sensor. Okay, a so, bag. Back. Okay, and then uh, here's the harness, and I actually got, you know, to match the, the mass flare sensor, I got all the injectors, but I was, they are actually made by Denso, and what I was reading is that um, sorry, I don't need to find my focus, but those are only 14 pound injectors on a 5 liter. So, this thing was tiny. Um, actually, I don't have the ECU out here, but I'll, I'll grab that real quick. And actually, with the most, the, the, the main reason why I went there was to get this thing right here. Because I wanted a uh, driver's side outlet uh, throttle cable and AOD bracket, and that's, that's it right there. So, that's the main reason why I got this. And, I actually got this because this thing mounts to it, the EGR plate here. But I'll probably end up getting a, a different one, like a block off plate. So I grabbed the uh, air temperature Hello. sensor, bye, bye. I guess manifold uh, air intake temperature sensor, and I got the, the well that's, that's air intake, that's the coolant temperature sensor. And oh yeah, on the uh, a throttle body have that air, uh, idle, idle air, uh, I'm not sure what they call this one, it's idle air control valve and then the uh, throttle position sensor so I'm gonna do a quick rinse and rinse down um, I'll get this club clean and, and in my next video this will just be part one I'm gonna strip this wiring harness down and remove all the unnecessary crap out of it I don't use oh yeah I forgot to say oh I'm sorry I know I'm kind of a spaz um, this came with a, uh, a AC cutout relay ECC diode um, fuel pump relay and Lec power relay, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it's basically a thing that pops open and there's a little relay box that came with it, so. Don't know what to do that, but. Pretty cool kind of little case I get. Okay, so, yeah, I gotta go through each of these wires and just kinda strip them up, strip them out, you know? I'm not gonna put like a, a really, because I'm actually gonna cut all this stuff off and rewrap it with uh, better stuff. Um, all right, we'll see, I guess. I mean, I gotta... It's gonna take probably hours and hours, but... 
I want to take all the sensors off before I uh, do the cleaning here. All right, cool, cool. So yeah, that'll be the end of this video. Um, it's a J02 T2 is my uh, ECU. It's they use that ECU on uh, Thunderbirds 91 to 93, but this is a probably this is a California car, so um, this is 1990 and. What's funny is most Lincolns were actually speed density. That's why I was surprised to see the MAF sensor on there, and that's why I pounced on it so quickly. Is because it perfectly matches my my setup, you know, with the AOD. Um, well, we'll see. I mean, I, like I said, I have a backup. I mean, I have a holy holy ECU right now, which is probably better than this, which tells me in real time. But the problem is sometimes when you have so many things to tweak, it becomes kind of a nightmare. You know what I mean, because you're constantly tweaking shit, and just like it never ends. You know what I mean? Because you always think you can make it run better. And so you're just, it's kind of like a headache, you know what I mean? Always. So, but if you have, if you can't control really, you know, if you can't control it, you know, you can't play with it, then uh, sometimes that's better, I guess. But, all right, cool. So, yeah, end of this video, and the next video, I'm going to start taking this thing apart, and I will show you the uh, new manifold that came in, or comes in, and I'm going to powder coat that thing and start working on it. So, if this thing frustrates me too much, then I'm going to, just go with the holly, but because for the holly, all I have to do is buy a wiring harness and I'm done. So, all right, cool. Better.